So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. And this time we're going to talk about Mikel Arteta. Real Madrid are swooping. He is the number one choice for Real Madrid this summer. <laughs> Arsenal are on red alert as their manager is getting swiped away amid fears of Real Madrid's presence enticing him to leave. And they've set up De Zerbi as the replacement. Who writes this stuff? Like real talk. Big up to everyone inside, man. We're going to dissect this real good. Real good, because this is everywhere in the Spanish press, by the way. Uh, more so than it is in the English press. The English puppets haven't got hold of it yet. Uh, or not all of them, anyway. Um, obviously, the red tops have. Uh, but uh, this is everywhere in Spain. I can't lie. Literally, every single Spanish media out there is going with this story. But before we get into talking about that, I have tro- dropped a video on the second channel. Big up to everyone subbed, man, uh, on that second channel. I'll leave the link for the Lampard video under the title in the description. We are on 9,347 subscribers on that channel. So make sure you do go and sub to that. Uh, Road to 10K is well and truly on. Uh, Proper Chels, proper Chels. Uh, So if you want my thoughts and feelings on that, uh, do go and check it out. Uh, Make sure you do smash the like button into next year. Make sure you are subscribed here as well. Share it around, leave your comments, all that good stuff. Uh, But all over the Spanish press, uh, Angelotti is going to be gone at the end of the season. Uh, I think that's one of the worst kept secrets ever. Uh, They haven't offered him a new contract. He is out of contract in the summer. And um, yeah, he's probably going to leave without a new contract. And I don't know where he's going to go. Maybe he retires, maybe he goes Brazil, maybe he goes back to the Premier League. Plenty of teams are going to be looking for managers in the uh, in the coming months. PSG, Atleti, um, Real Madrid, Chelsea, unless Lampard stays, there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of clubs looking for a new manager. Now, Ancelotti is one of the best managers I've ever seen in my life. But despite the four 0 victory against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey semi, they're not going to renew him, man. They want to go down a different direction. And listen. Fair play to them. They could do whatever they want. They're the best team on the planet. Uh, But Arsenal are tipped to replace Arteta with manager of Premier League high flyers as Real Madrid plot ambitious swoop. (laughs) Genuinely, who writes this stuff, mate? Ambitious swoop. Are they an eagle? Uh, Anyway, let's listen to this crap. Arsenal have identified Brighton manager Roberto De Zerbi as a potential successor to Mikel Arteta, the Gunners' boss, according to reports. This comes amid speculation that La Liga giants Real Madrid could potentially look to replace Ancelotti with the Spaniard this summer. That makes it sound so dramatic. Uh, Arteta has enjoyed a remarkable season. So far, we've won nothing. So it's not remarkable, is it? Uh, Currently eight points clear, obviously. But um, we continue. Uh, The former Manchester City assistant was under pressure heading into the season, but he has well and truly surpassed expectations. Well, he hasn't because he hasn't won anything yet. Fair enough. FA Cup when he first started. Great season. Won't be if we don't win it. Um, A few. uh, There's some high profile admirers. None other than the 14 times Champions League winners, Real Madrid. In fairness, though, when recently questioned to links to Los Blancos, Arteta, was quick to dismiss the rumours. He said, it's things that managers or players cannot control what is written. Uh, Now, let me just say one thing here, right? Because apparently he's a Barca fan. Oh, he came through the academy. He never played a single game for Barcelona, by the way. Not their first team, anyway. I think he played 40-odd games for their second team, 42 games, um, their B team. Uh, And then he went off on loan to, to PSG. And then after that, went to Glasgow Rangers. So, and then Everton, then Arsenal. So, oh, sorry, Real Sociedad in between. Uh, but these um, these people, and, and listen, I'll come to whether I think the story is true or not in a minute, yeah? But when people sit there and go, oh, but he played for Barcelona, that means he won't manage Real Madrid. Let me just tell you something right now, and I'm here to tell you this right now. Yeah, so all the cheap seats at the back, fix up, ears pricked, look sharp, come on, let's go. It don't matter whether he played for Barcelona or not. If Real Madrid come knocking on your door and say, we're going to pay you 15 million, 20 million a year. We're going to give you an unlimited budget. 
and you have a chance to win everything, tell me a manager that's going to turn that down. You get to go to Real Madrid, big Real Madrid, the best team in the world. Unlimited budget, the King's Club. Benzema, big Benz up front. Modric still doing it, 37, 38 years old. You've got Camavinga, Chuameni. That's some decent players. Vinicius Jr., again, unbelievable last night. Camavinga, I think, had 100% pass completion all night <laughs> like, against Barcelona. Yeah, you got a chance to win the league. You've got a chance to win the Champions League. You've got a chance to win the Cups. One thing I will say is uh, there's no crying about Finn squads over in Spain. Yeah, and we can all name Real Madrid starting eleven, and they play it for every game. So all of this Finns, oh, we've got a Finn squad. We can't compete on all fronts. Uh, that don't wash in Madrid, mate. Yeah, that don't work in Madrid. Um, do I think he's going there? No, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I do think that clubs are going to look at him. Like, why wouldn't they? Yeah, we're top of the Premier League, the hardest league to win in world football. And we're top of it by eight points. Obviously, City do have that game in hand. But we've played fantastic football. And in comparison to Real Madrid, we ain't exactly gone out there and blitzing Galacticos players at 150 million a pop and 100 mil a pop. We've gone out there, 50 mils, 55s, 45s, 30s. And to be fair, Arteta deserves every bit of credit he's getting. But like I said a minute ago, it's not a remarkable season unless we win the league. And if we don't win the league, then it was a great run. But ultimately, you ended up with nothing. The same as Tottenham. Same as Newcastle. Newcastle could get top four, get Champions League. We could finish second. They could finish third. We could both win nothing. But a remarkable... No, no, no. We both qualify for Champions League, mate. So, just saying. You know, people are going, oh, you're so toxic. Uh, yeah, uh. No, that's the facts and reality. Yeah, remarkable is only when you win the league. Yeah. Win the league, happy days. But to be fair to him, he has put us in a mad position to win the title, our first one in 19 years. And he deserves all the credit. He is going to get linked with PSG. He is going to get linked with Real Madrid, probably Atletico Madrid. All these other clubs that are going to need a manager into Milan, they're probably going to sack Maldini. Is it Maldini? Inzaghi, sorry. Pipo Inzaghi. Yeah, they're probably going to sack him at the end of the season. So there is a lot of clubs. Like Allegri might not be at Juve much longer. There is a lot of clubs, a big clubs as well. We're talking big clubs. We're not talking Tottenham, yeah? We're talking big football clubs. Some of the biggest on the planet are going to need managers in the summer. So why wouldn't they want him? Like, why? It, make, it makes no sense to not want a manager that is top of the Premier League against one of the goats of managerial game, Pep Guardiola. So we're going to see these stories pop up quite a lot. Is there any truth to him? Probably not right now but having said that i wouldn't be surprised one bit if we end up winning the league or not winning the league either way and if real madrid come and put an offer on the table to him is he likely to turn it down because i wouldn't be surprised if he did uh, sorry if he didn't and he ended up at madrid yeah managerial um roles do not come up very often at elite level football clubs and when they do it's normally the elite level managers that get them he is not an elite level manager he may go on to be one, but right now he's not an elite level manager. He's still a rookie manager yeah, in comparison to a lot of other managers. Don Carlo, Conte, uh, Pep, other Jose, managers like that. He's only been in the game as a manager for, what, three and a half years? So, for Real Madrid come calling, I don't care whether you came through Barca's academy or not, mate. It's very, very difficult to turn down Real Madrid. Look at, look at this legend behind me, Henri. Very difficult to turn down Barcelona then, wouldn't it, when you've got Messi and all of that lot there? Very difficult to turn these elite institutional football clubs down. Yeah, and you might never get that opportunity again. So if Real Madrid come calling for him, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes. They're a bigger football club than we are. They're a bigger football club than we'll ever be. 14 Champions Leagues, we ain't got none. 14. They might even make it 15 this season. PSG could come call him. Would he turn that down? I don't know. Listen, one thing I have known and learned about Mikel Arteta, especially this season, he is very ambitious. Yeah, very ambitious, and he's very driven to win, which is the aim of elite sport, despite all these Muppets dressing it up as fourth is a trophy. And, oh, it don't matter. Bigger fish to fry, mate. No, the aim of elite sport is to actually win the major honours. 
And he seems to understand that. Why? Oh, yes. Because he worked with Pep, who goes for every single trophy, every single season, and are on for a treble this season. Yeah? They've won the League Cup how many times? A lot. Oh, it's the shit cup, mate. Like we're in such a luxurious position to turn down cups. So I do think he is very ambitious. We can see that he actually gives a toss and he actually cares. Yeah, and when people are sitting there and I'm having a go and I'm moaning, even if we win, I'm moaning about this player or moaning about this substitution. You best believe he's moaning as well. Yeah, he's moaning more than I am. Yeah, because he's got that desire and that will to win. What better club to go to on the planet than the club that has the most desire to win everything? And the major honours. So, listen, I don't think this is happening as it stands right now as I'm recording this on Thursday, the 6th of April. But fast forward a couple of months and there may be a firm, proper offer on the table. He's got a decision to make, isn't he? Can Arsenal keep a manager that's just won a league or may not have won a league when Real Madrid come knocking and give you a contract offer? Yeah, obviously, we're all talking in if, buts and maybes. But listen, there's no smoke without fire. Yeah, maybe this has all been put out there via the Spanish media, via, I don't know who his agent is. Maybe you can enlighten me in the comments. Maybe he's after a new deal. I don't know. We see this all the time. Yeah, but he was linked to Barcelona last year before, um, or sorry, whilst Xavi, I, think, I don't think Xavi was there. I think it was before Xavi took over, he was linked to Barca. And then Xavi got the job. It's, it's very difficult to turn these clubs down. And like I said, you might not ever get an opportunity ever again to go and manage Real Madrid, Barcelona, teams like that. So, listen, I don't think he's going anywhere. If he does go uh, and he does leave, no doubt our muggy fan base will be sitting again. Oh, he's a snake. He's a snake. <laughs> get in the bin. Yeah, get in the bin. Yeah, get in the bin, mate. Uh, but anyway, let me know your thoughts and feelings down below. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think he will leave Arsenal? Um, in the summer. Uh, like I said, I personally don't think he will as it stands now, but in the summer, who knows? Like I said, Atleti, Real Madrid, PSG, they all need managers. Chelsea, and well, he ain't going to Chelsea. That's a, a proper Chelsea. Uh, Lampard will probably get a new deal there. But there's a lot of clubs that need managers. Yeah, Pep's not going to be around forever. Maybe he's waiting for Man City. I don't know. One thing I do know is he does give a shit about Arsenal and he does care, right? And you can see that every time... He's talking and, and when he's jumping around on the touchline like an idiot at times. And when you've seen the all or nothing, you can see he actually cares. But at the same time, if we don't win that title this season, maybe his head will get turned. If we do win it, every club on the planet's going to want him. So it's going to be very difficult to keep hold of him if we don't match his ambition. Yeah, and he is ambitious, like I've said. So, you know, people can sit there and dramatize top four and top six and all of this crap. That guy don't want to finish fourth. Yeah, that guy don't want to finish sixth. That guy wants to win stuff, which is the aim of elite sport. So these clubs could come call him. He could leave. That's all I'm saying. If he leaves, I want to see nobody calling him a snake. It just means that he has to adios amigo. Yeah, and there's plenty of managers out there. He's not the only manager that can manage Arsenal. So if he does go, good luck to him. Well done. Cheers, mate. See you later. Uh, if he don't, then let's hope we retain the title after we've won it. And on that bombshell, we're out of here, people. Adios, amigos. Subscribe, like, share. Check the second channel out. Proper Chelsea. Lampard. Proper, proper, proper Chelsea. We're out. Adios, amigos.